Hello YouTube and welcome to the second PHP tutorial from Teach Me Computer and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to install XAMPP which will install Apache so it's PHP, MySQL and you know all the things you will need to run PHP on your computer. Now if you already have a web server then you do not need to do this so just use your web server or web hosting account to follow the tutorials but if you don't want to pay for a web host then you can just do this install it on your local computer and you can learn PHP like this so the first thing you'll need to do is google XAMPP and go to the website Apache Friends and then you're going to need to choose your operating system so if you have Linux this one Windows Mac and I'm just going to click Windows because I'm using Windows 7 right now and what you want to do is click download and make sure you download the installer I'll download that now and it's going to bring you to this page and you just wait um, five seconds and it will begin downloading so I'm just going to pause this video while it downloads um, because I don't want to just sit here and watch this download so I'll be back in two minutes okay so the XAMPP install file is finally downloaded so just click on that and open it up and you're going to need to click yes to give it access to install okay and you just want to you need to go through the simple installation features and um, for this just ignore this right now uh, the, if the XAMPP does not work properly you need to turn off the UAC and install it again but it should work without it for what we're going to do right now so ignore that click OK and then you want to go through the installation wizard click next and then make sure the destination folder right here you remember this because you're going to need this to access uh, your local host the files I'll explain that in a moment and then when you get to the XAMPP options and what you need to do where it says service selection select Apache and MySQL and that will install um, Apache and MySQL as a service and then just click install and this might take a few minutes so I'm just going to pause the video again okay so XAMPP is finally finished installing just click the finish button and it will just check for the ports I think it's going to check for um, MySQL I think it's like 3032 or something it's just checking that the ports are open so that it can work and yep yeah, it's done okay so I think now it is installed and it will ask you to start the control panel hit yes and here it is right here and that just tells us that Apache and MySQL are currently running on this server and you can stop them and start them and it's all installed so now that we've installed XAMPP and we are ready to go if you haven't installed it properly if there's been an error then please just go back to the start of the video or just leave a comment and I'll help you out maybe there's an error um, so if you have installed you can continue from here now what you need to do to access your files is you need to go to localhost so you need to go into your browser and just type HTTP um, forward slash forward slash localhost and hit enter and you'll get this splash page now just select the language of your choice I'm going to select English and here is the control panel um, for localhost for XAMPP so the first thing you need to do before anything is go over here to security you wanna set a password for the MySQL database and also edit the HD access just so you know so no one else but you can access um, these files so you wanna go to security and then just click this link right here um, and you can set a password for the MySQL database the username is root we'll need to remember this password for later so I'm just gonna set my password as something random right now and you can just set yours to some whatever you want as long as you remember it and then for the HD access I'm just gonna root and then make the XAMPP directly safe and I think we have to click this up here as well password changing and um, we have to enter the HD access username password 
and yeah, that should be done now. So if we go back to security, and it is now secure. So make sure you just go over to security, set the username and password, and then you will be safe. Okay, so um, now that we have f sorted out the security, what we're going to do is head over to make our first file on the server. So what you need to do is go over to my computer and open up, you need to go to your C drive and open up XAMP, the directory XAMP, XAMPP. And when you're here and see XAMPP, which is remember the directory we installed to, you need to find htdocs. Double click that. Okay, and when you're in htdocs, um, any file you make in here um, will appear on your local host. So let's, what we're going to test that now, we're going to make a text file, um, text document, and it's going to be test.txt. I think it'll just save it automatically for us. Just save it as test. And in here, we're just going to type this is a test. Click on save, and now this file should be viewable in our local host. So you do not have to type anything after the local host. You don't have to type htdocs or any directory. You just type test.txt, and there we go. We can now see that this is working. A file we saved in here, it is showing up on the local host. So um, that's all done and working. So what we're going to do now is just going to delete this. And I'm going to make a directory in here which I'm going to use for the tutorial. So make a new folder inside htdocs and call that tutorials. And just double click there. And inside here we're going to hold all of our PHP files that we'll use in the upcoming tutorials. So now we have successfully installed XAMP and we are ready to start uh, writing our first PHP script. So thanks for watching this video. and. In the next video, we're going to choose a text editing software because Notepad, although it is everyone has it, it's convenient, it does not have syntax highlighting. So, in the next tutorial, I'm going to go over a few different options for you for what you can use to type PHP with. So, if you have any questions, just leave a comment and please subscribe to the channel.